Okay, so today's video, we're going to go over the two processes called transcription and translation. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the process of transcription. You know, this is the process where our cells will create RNA using a DNA template. You know, a template is like a mold. And so this process is going to take place inside the nucleus of our cells. So let's zoom on into the nucleus. And, and here's a strip of DNA. Notice how adenine pairs to thiamine and cytosine pairs to guanine. Well, during the process of transcription, you know, here's an enzyme with the name of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase plays a really important role in this process. RNA polymerase is actually gonna like act like a, a pair of pliers and pry apart the A from the T, the C from the G. It breaks the hydrogen bonds that hold the DNA bases, the DNA nucleotides together. And once that happens, RNA nucleotides are gonna match to the now unpaired DNA. And so, for instance, notice how in red the letters AUG just floated on in and matched to the DNA letters of TAC. And so what we have here is a growing chain of RNA in red. And actually, this is going to be a growing chain of messenger RNA here in red. Well, the enzyme RNA polymerase continues down the length of the DNA helix and continues to pry apart the DNA double helix, and that exposes more and more and more unpaired DNA bases for mRNA to match and bond with. And down the length of the double helix, this proceeds, RNA polymerase prying apart the DNA, mRNA in red matching up, and notice what just happened at the back end is the DNA starts to zip and come back together. So the process continues down the entire length where the enzyme RNA polymerase breaks apart the DNA that exposes unpaired DNA bases in black. So in red, the mRNA bases are going to match with the black DNA bases. At the back end, the DNA begins to come back together, it kind of rezips itself. And again, the process continues with the enzyme RNA polymerase breaking apart the A's and the T's and the C's and the G's. The mRNA is added to the growing chain. And at the back end of the DNA, it starts to zip and come back together. And so as we reach the end of this transcription process, the RNA polymerase will pry apart the DNA letters, in this case, ACT. The ACT is exposed and along comes RNA UGA. At the back end, the DNA zips back together. And now that we've reached the end, the RNA polymerase simply detaches and the rest of the DNA can bond back together. Well, what happens next is the RNA is going to exit the nucleus and travel to a ribosome. So there goes the RNA that was just created. It's going to a ribosome. Now, when we get to the ribosome, we're going to pick up the process of translation. So let's go into that next. So before I get into the translation, I want to point out a few items you're going to see in my animation. Well, here is a blue object that, that's going to be symbolic of transfer RNA or tRNA. You might know transfer RNA is called transfer RNA because it transfers amino acids to a ribosome. There's 20 different amino acids. MET, the green circle, MET, MET, is the abbreviation for the amino acid called methionine. Here's another transfer RNA, and it too is carrying an amino acid. This one's labeled PRO, P-R-O. P-R-O is an abbreviation for the amino acid called proline. And finally, here's another, here's a third tRNA, and it's carrying an amino acid abbreviated L-E-U. LU stands for leucine. So when you see these, know that the blue objects are the transfer RNAs, and the green circles are the amino acids. Notice how there are three letters on the bottom of each of the blue tRNAs. These are called anticodons, and you're going to see why these are important in just a moment. But notice how the anticodon is a part of the blue tRNA. 
You know, a good idea might be to Google the words genetic code, because if you do, you'll get a picture that looks a lot like this. This genetic code chart, this is a chart of the 20 amino acids. You'll see proline, P-R-O, it was abbreviated a moment ago. Methionine, M-E-T, it was abbreviated a moment ago. And this chart is going to be very useful to us when we start to go through the process of translation. So let's look at the process of translation now. Translation is the process of building a protein, and it takes place at the ribosome. So what happens is here comes the messenger RNA that we just created a few minutes ago during the process of transcription. Remember, the messenger RNA exited the nucleus, and it, it's coming to a ribosome. What happens next is the ribosome is going to read one codon at a time. In the animation, notice how the letters A, U, and G are flashing. A, U, G is a codon. A codon are three RNA nucleotides, three consecutive RNA nucleotides. A, U, G uh, is, a, is a codon. Not only is A, U, G a codon, but A, U, G is a special codon. A, U, G is what we call a start codon. It's the sequence that begins and starts the process of translation. Translation will begin when the ribosome comes to the codon AUG. Okay, so the notes say that tRNA delivers the proper amino acid, but how do we know what the proper amino acid is? Well, that's when we look on the genetic code chart that you may have printed out earlier. Notice how the codon is AUG. Let's find AUG on this genetic code chart. I've highlighted AUG. AUG is the codon for an amino acid called methionine. So because the codon is AUG, transfer RNA is going to deliver the amino acid called methionine. M-E-T is the abbreviation for methionine. And so now I want to point out what the anticodon is. The anticodon are three nucleotides that you can find on the tRNA. Anti is a prefix that means opposite. Notice how the AUG in red is opposite of the UAC in blue. Because they are opposites, this is a match. This prevents the wrong amino acid from being delivered at the wrong time. You'll see a good example of this in just a moment. Notice what the ribosome just did. It went to the next codon. The next codon is flashing. C-A-U. T-R-N-A is going to bring over the proper amino acid. But how do we know what the proper amino acid is? Let's find C-A-U on that genetic code chart. And so I've highlighted CAU is the amino acid called histidine. So now that I know CAU is the code for histidine, I know that transfer RNA is going to bring over histidine. HIS is the abbreviation for histidine. And notice again how the GUA anticodon is a perfect opposite match of the CAU codon. This means that's the proper amino acid, and it allows the bonding to proceed. What happens is the two amino acids will bond, and the first tRNA, now that it has dropped off its amino acid, can just drift away. Notice what just happened. The ribosome moved down one codon. GGC is now flashing tRNA is going to bring over the proper amino acid. But how do I know what the proper amino acid is? I look on my chart. I find GGC. That's the code for glycine. Transfer RNA is supposed to deliver glycine. So here comes transfer RNA. Oh no, it's not delivering glycine like it's supposed to. Notice how the anticodon G, uh, the anticodon UGC and the codon GGC, they don't match. They're not opposites. Anti means opposites. This prevents the wrong amino acid from being delivered. So this entire wrong transfer RNA will drift away, and that will allow the proper one to come on in and deliver its amino acid, in this case, glycine. And so now the amino acids are all chained together, and the tRNA on the left has drifted away. The ribosome simply moves down to the next codon. ACG is flashing. Find ACG on the chart. 
ACG on the chart is the amino acid called threonine. Threonine is going to be delivered next by transfer RNA. So here comes transfer RNA delivering THR. THR is the abbreviation for threonine. And because, again, the anticodon and codon, because they're exact opposites, that allows all the amino acids to be bonded together. The tRNA on the left detaches and floats away. It can be reused, as can all the others. The ribosome moves down a notch. I hope you see, I hope you're getting the hang of this. The ribosome is now exposed GGU, the codon GGU, transfer RNA will deliver the proper amino acid. So how do we know what the proper amino acid is? We look on the chart. We find GGU on the chart. Hey, that's the amino acid for glycine. So now that I know GGU is the code for glycine, here comes transfer RNA carrying GLY. GLY stands for glycine. So because the codon and anticodon are opposite matches, that allows the chain of amino acids to be bonded together, and the tRNA on the left detaches. And I hope you get the hang of this. The ribosome simply moves down to the next codon. UGA is the next codon. Find UGA on the chart, and it's something special. UGA on the chart is a stop codon. It's a sequence that will stop this process. It basically tells the ribosome the job is finished. So once a stop codon is, in, is encountered, the stop codon ends this process. The tRNA will detach. The ribosome will actually break apart into two smaller subunits. And what you're left with is a chain of amino acids. That's exactly what a protein is, a chain of amino acids created by the ribosome through a process called translation. So as we finish this up, I'm just going to end with a quick review here. DNA, through the process of transcription, is copied into a, a molecule called RNA. And then RNA, through the process of translation, is the code to build a protein. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to read over some of the text and post your comments in the space below. I'd love to read them and possibly answer a few. Thanks for watching.